Yeah, you're good. I think I didn't hit record. Huh? Nothing. All right, my goal today is to hit him in the chest on every throwback. Ah, frick. Good. My goal is not to catch every ball. Ho! Yeah. Frick. Ew, just do that. All right. Just throw it like that. Yeah. Two strikes there and a punch in here. See ya. So you're gonna go two sets? I don't wanna go crazy on volume going Sunday. Let's go two sets. First set, we'll work on what you were talking about with glove side change-ups, elevated fastballs. Still get consistent with it. Yeah. Mix in some cutter slider combos, maybe two each, and then take a little break and then we'll sequence. Okay. That work? Yep. Start glove side. Start arm side, it's easier to get lazy. Yeah. So let's force glove side, I'll extend out. Boy. Corn dogs, Jackie. Overlay it. I'd say hammer that combo though. Like the glove side heater is gonna get you to be able to get extension with the changeup. Yeah. So if you go glove side heater, glove side changeup, create that motion memory, then everything's cooking. Yep. Boom, shaka laka. Yeah! Baseball's fun. Third time in a row here. Did I cut that off a little bit? Not really. No. All right, same concept, heater change, arm side. We'll go first fastball, bottom of the zone, change up. Second fastball, top of the zone, change up. Heater down, change up like a strikeout, heater up, change up strike. Yeah. Boy. Yeah! Ah. Hey, do it again. Yeah. Good. I do that last round over. Fastball, arm side elevated. Change up for a strike. Yep. Yeah. Good, Josh. Good first set. Good? Yeah. Yeah, that's the big thing, even just executing commands, just not muscling up, just like letting it flow and just get Loose is strong, strong is weak. You know what I mean? That's uh, something I, I learned early and then forgot because when velocity became such an important thing, you think about velocity early on, typically means things are gonna be occurring early. That's what I was kind of thinking. It was like, I was getting to like that end stage, like the rehab. I was like, oh, I gotta throw hard again. Yeah. And then I was trying to throw hard with everything. Yeah. And then just like, yeah. Like on and off good and bad phases of just muscle doing. Like, That's why I like the concept. With the upper half. Like slow is smooth and smooth is fast, right? Like tempo is always gonna vary per individual, right? Like you can perceive somebody on the mound like man he moves really slow but like that might just be his way of like being able to throw fast because it's smooth and it's quiet you know and where some guys need the opposite they need higher tempo like you you have you have an accelerated tempo right so from the initial move of your delivery as soon as you lift like your tempo is pretty high so that's going to be an uphill battle sometimes is like being able to go at that tempo but still remaining calm upstairs let's do like four pitches before the sequence fastball glove side elevated cutter change up and then fastball glove side down all right then we'll do one hitter after that. one hitter good the only thing with that, with the cutter elevated, I don't want you to place the ball in my glove. Yeah. I want you to throw that cutter through my glove. And I know that was your first one, but slurve or slider is a different concept sometimes. With the cutter, you want to stay as aggressive as possible through this, especially when we're going elevated. Yeah. Right? Because we don't want that, that spin to be loose and then you run into yeah, a lefty's a barrel. So I like the one where I'm like setting a glove here and you're setting sights here and you're throwing it through this to make it go, woo! Do it again. Go ahead. Much better. That bin though, instead of seeing a big circle, was more of like a tilted four seam. Yeah. Change up glove side. Beautiful. All right, let's sequence. You want a righty or a lefty? Let's go righty. One up. I mean, technically. I mean, I missed that too. I missed that too much. All right, well then uh, let's, let's use it. Good. Say one, one. Hey, that's good, man. Ah. One more, I'll have a fastball, but yeah, I'm good. Yeah, I'm good. You're a weird guy, Ace. A little bit. Ah, remind me to freaking like wear pants next time I put these on. Just ride. It's always about segmenting your bullpen times too. Some bullpens are for like, you know, I'll throw one bullpen where I'm like, all right, I'm gonna throw 20 changeups in a row because I need to create a cue or something. Yeah. I think I've got that, the solid basic cues now and I was just, like I said, like, I got it good out there, it's good out there and like. Bro, it's, like, it's freaking good right there. I, just I would just that. say like, remember 
in warm-up, in uh, when you're throwing your pregame pen, and even in games, bro. Like, tell your catcher, if you can early, shade glove side and elevate my target a little bit, right? Like, that just gives me a sight to, like, force myself to get through and not pull off. Because even those first two, even if I miss a little glove side or I miss it down, it's like, all right, I'm, yeah. I got the good spot with now. It's just that slight adjustment. It's like, all right, yeah. I don't need, I can go middle now because I got the but right. But you weren't cutting it off either. That's the beauty of it. Yeah. It's like you actually still have more room to go until it starts becoming like, all right, now I'm not, now I'm around it. Mm -hmm. Right? Like you're still through it and it's ending up like here. Like that's impressive. But like the hard part is like, all right, can we still now go here and here? You know? Yeah. Because that's going to be when your front side wants to go, ah. Especially with that visual of someone yeah. being right here. Yeah. And not always, not being like yeah. here. It's like, oh, I push out, you know, whatever. Now yeah. it's like getting it here when I have to get yeah. it here. Yeah. And right something I tell my catchers, especially when there's a guy in the box, is for the catcher to get big. Right, like I want a big target because when the hitter's standing, yeah. so like I want my catcher to be as big as possible, so then I can tunnel vision where my freaking energy is being dispersed. Tunnel through the catcher, not yeah. have to worry about anything. Exactly. Here. Like in a perfect world, we would treat everything like a bullpen. We don't live in a perfect world. Things change. Things yeah. speed up. But how can we get our cues and our sights set out here, so then when we get into a new game, it's as you know as replicable as possible. Yeah, and also make sure that like not creating like, bad habits where I'm like, yeah, like pushing it yeah. to get it in, and I'm still. I, I do the same thing, bro. Rotational. Yeah, well, I get in do a count where I'm like, oh, this will be a good count for a fastball in. And then it's like, I'm just like placing it in rather than just like, F this dude, like, ah, let's go. All right, nice shot. Is this High School Musical? It is. High School Musical! Copyright. Anyone want a long toss? 